Good evening. Jail inmates who should have been behind bars out on the streets with you and me. Jail officials say they had no idea it was going on. A former MDC employee tells us they should have. Bernalillo County detectives say Vincent Peel, a powerful player in MDC's community custody program, was receiving bribes from inmates who wanted to be part of the program and serve their jail time at home instead of behind bars. Peel was arrested yesterday. News 13's Crystal Gutierrez begins our coverage. Crystal. An informant gave detectives incriminating recorded phone calls and face-to-face -face meetings with Pill, cutting the alleged deals. But jail employees may have been the first ones to notice. 48-year-old Vince Pill today in court. His arrest was a surprise to a lot of people, even himself. Mr. Pill was, was stunned. But this woman, who we'll call Sarah, says she knew something was going on. Yes, I'm a former employee of MDC. Sarah says before detectives started asking questions, the staff at MDC was already concerned. Sarah says there are strict guidelines as to who can be placed on community custody, and the rules were not always followed. The security staff would question people that were outside of these boundaries and would still be placed and allowed to be on CCP. Among the details listed in the criminal complaint, allegations that Peel accepted thousands of dollars from an inmate who was ultimately placed on CCP along with some of the inmate's friends. NBC Chief Ron Torres says he can't understand how this happened. We're going to go back and see if there was any of it, way that those safeguards were circumvented. In fact, Torres says he rejected some cases Peel was trying to push forward involving inmates who had initially been rejected by the program. Was that not a red flag? Did you not question him and say, you know the rules, this person cannot be put on CCP? I don't feel comfortable asking that, answering that question right now because I believe that's specific to the behavior of Mr. Peel and I think that you, I, would, uh, I would defer that to the Sheriff's Department. If it's signed off by Vince Peel, there was no questions and if staff did question it, um, it was pretty much overlooked and push, um, pushed under the, under the rug. And detectives say Pill was also bribed to make sure the inmates stayed on the program. For instance, the complaint says Pill charged an inmate 500 bucks to make sure drugs didn't show up in his urine sample. I just know that there was uh, rumors of covering up and allowing inmates to uh, be dirty, so to say, and still be on the program. Detectives say the two-month investigation could net more arrests. Sarah says they need to look even further. I think that if they go back, they probably would find more things that would be not in compliance with, uh, you know, policy and procedures. And the arrest warrant also accused Peel of ID theft, saying he handed over a list of names, social security numbers, and dates of birth of 28 inmates in exchange for cash. Now that's when the Secret Service came in. Tim. Thank you, Crystal. According to detectives, Peel accepted multiple forms of payment, including stolen property. He is now on leave as the investigation continues. So what is next for CCP in the meantime? The chief judge at downtown's Metro Court is calling an emergency judges meeting tomorrow at noon. Albuquerque Chief Public Safety Officer Darren White is requesting the program be suspended, and he's requesting a complete review of CCP. That's something Bernalillo County Commissioners have already called for. Almost 500 inmates are currently on community custody. Every Everyone on the list will be reviewed with special attention paid to those who were initially denied participation. One commissioner told us he thinks maybe judges should have more control over the program. So I think the decisions as to who gets into CCP and who does not should be made by the judges. We hope that this, that this problem is the work of an individual, but we will look at it again from a comprehensive point of view to make sure that the program is sound. Despite the concerns, Commissioners Brasher and Hart Stebbins agree CCP is a necessary program, largely because it helps prevent overcrowding at the Metro Detention Center.